Hello, I'm Freddy. Today I'm in the city of Kampala, Kampala, Uganda, Africa. Now, I've been to 35 countries all around the world, but I haven't seen as many countries as beautiful as this country here. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you the beauty of Africa, the beauty of this country of Uganda that they will never show you on TV or in the media. Welcome to Kampala. Kampala is the capital city of Uganda. It's a very lively city. I had a very pleasant stay here. Uganda is one of the most beautiful countries I've ever seen. The nearest airport to the city is called Entebbe International Airport, which is about 40 kilometers south of the city. To get here from the airport, you take a taxi and pay about 20 euros, or else you could use public transport, the legendary Kampalan mini buses. One thing to note, if you're staying in a hotel and you're not a backpacker like Freddy, one of the things that will strike you first is going to be the hotel gardens. I visited a couple of hotels, but I noticed that they tend to have some of the most beautiful gardens you can find anywhere. This might prove to be your perfect start for a perfect visit here, enjoying the gardens while spotting companions as they go around with their business. Here, I was at the Sheraton Hotel, which is close to the city center and there are several historical monuments which are in the neighborhood for example the parliament the bank of uganda the president's residence the independence monument and many others Exposure Africa, which is the largest art and craft market here in Kampala. It's far just a few meters from the head of Kampala. For the best African art and craft, it's here in Exposure Market, which is right in the center of Kampala. This is the old Kampala Mosque, which is the largest mosque in Uganda. It was completed in 2006 and it can set 15,000 people inside as well as 1,100 in the gallery. It has a very beautiful terrace which overlooks the city in the sides. This particular terrace is a must visit because it offers some of the most breathtaking views of Kampala. Like in several Western European countries, Kampala has some very monumental places of worship. That's Azuraga Cathedral, which is the oldest Roman Catholic diocese in Uganda. It was constructed in 1914. Inside, it has a transept, which is a memorial to the Uganda matters, were also enshrined in stained glass windows. This is a place which is a roundabout and one where there are a couple of shopping malls. On my left, on the side, is going to be the Garden City, which is a mall, a shopping mall, and a hotel. On my right, is going to be the Oasis Mall, which is another shopping mall here in Kampala. One of the things that I love about these malls in this city is that when you get into one of these malls, you have everything that you could ever want to buy. For example, I'm used to the malls of Paris, the shopping malls of Paris. However, the difference is that in Paris, when you get into a mall, you may not really get everything that you want, you want to buy when you get out of your house, because others, or rather most of them, do specialize, let's say, in clothing, and the others specialize in, uh, let's, let's say, electronics and things like that. However, in Kampala, when you get into a mall, you're almost going to get everything that you came out to buy. Another thing that I'd love to advise somebody who comes here to visit, on top of many of the malls are cafes, restaurants, and things like that. And the companions take advantage of this because after work or in the morning before going to the places of work, they love to go to the top of the malls and enjoy a coffee or enjoy hot breakfast while watching over the city because from the top of the malls you can see so many places in Kampala. <laughs> 
Finally, the moment I've been waiting for ever since I landed at the airport. The golden opportunity to test you get and food. On this occasion, I had fried rice, sweet potatoes, yams, cassava, pumpkin, and banana puree. The sauce was made of fried meat and smashed ground nuts. Very, very delicious. Remember never to miss this when you visit Uganda. This is Nakasero Market right here in the heart of Kampala. It's the largest fresh food and fresh vegetable market here in Kampala. And what is interesting is that the food and the vegetables and whatever you see here came here right this day in the morning from the towns and other cities and other suburbs of Kampala which are a little bit far from here. When you're here on a visit and you want to eat the best food, the best vegetables at a cheaper price, thus is the place to come. This is Serena Hotel. I went to this hotel not to book a room, but because the hotel has some of the most fashionable bars in town, the most artistic restaurants, the gardens that I love the most in Kampala, and a very nice gym. For information, you need no booking to get in here. Just say you're going to the restaurant or to the bar. There are two bars, the Miss Bar and the Pooh Bar. My favorite restaurant was the Paul restaurant, but there is also the Italian Explorer restaurant, the Alex restaurant, and the Sese Patisserie. to discover Kampala. I'm standing on one of the hills, Nakasero Hill, where you find the Pearl of Africa Hotel, which is one of the five-star hotels found in this city. On the other side is the city itself, and when you go this side, you see Kampala in its entirety. Kampala is known for its large and luxurious malls. These malls also tend to have some of the best cafes, restaurants, world-renowned grand shops, and the best after-work meeting places for the perfect evening after a long day at work. This one is called Akisha Mall. It's found in the suburb of Kamocho, which is a 15 to 20 minute drive from the city center. Apart from the mall, this particular location called Kisementi in Kamocha is a must see. It's a great place to go for shopping, movies, it has very nice bars, cafes, clubs, and it's also a great place for entertainment. There are also two radio stations in the same location. I'm standing on top of Nakumat Mall in Kampala. Let's take a tour and see what there is that someone can do here. The shops, the stores that are found here. Let's go and have a look at it. The Garden City Mall has some of the most high-end trendy fashion stores like the famous Sylvia Owari, Knights and Anchor Pasha. But if you happen to visit these stores in particular, remember to take an extra credit card just in case. From large grocery stores to banks, foreign exchange bureaus, restaurants, bars, cafes, electronic shops, telecoms, this is a one-stop shopping center. There is also a luxurious hotel called the Golf Coast Hotel, which is also located in the same compound. Another thing not to miss out here is going to be the Golf Coast, which is just nearby. Another mall not miss out in Kampala is called Freedom City, which is located along Entebbe Road, 20 minutes from the city center. Shopping malls in Uganda are much more than malls. If you're visiting Kampala, you could almost spend your evenings in these luxurious malls alone because there are so many and each of them is unique in its own way. Walking along Kintu Road, which is one of the historical streets here in the city of Kampala. On the side is the Crescent Towers, which is one of the skyscrapers found here in the city. On the side to the left down is Kingdom Kampala, which is another five-star hotel here in the city. And in front of me, right in front of this side, is going to be the Serena Hotel, which is another five-star hotel here in Kampala. And right on the other side is going to be the Parliament Buildings, 
which is the parliament of the Republic of Uganda and which is also the seat of the Legislative Assembly. This is Makarara University, which is the largest in Uganda. It is also one of the very best in Africa and highly respected around the world. Apart from visiting its 10 colleges on campus, the libraries, and admiring the gorgeous architecture, there are also very beautiful gardens, and the parks and sports facilities are also wonderful. The best way to get around Kampala is by taking a tour around the city on one of these motorbikes called Bodia Bodia locally. And one of the things which you would love to head here in Kampala is going to be traffic. As you can see, on the other side is a very, very long line of cars waiting to get through the traffic lights. And the city usually gets to be like this, especially in the morning when people are going to work and in the evenings when people are coming back home. However, on this side, where I'm standing right now, is the Uganda Golf Course. This is one of the most beautiful areas here in the city. Especially if you love golf, you have to come here. Whenever I'm in, in this city, this is one of the places I love to come to just to play golf, or to have a drink, or else to just sit and relax as if I were in a park. The Uganda Golf Club is found on the outskirts of Kampala, about 10 minutes driving from the city centre. It's one of the most beautiful and greenest golf courses I've ever found so close to a city centre. Many Kampalans love and enjoy golf, and the Uganda Golf Club is their signature golfing address. Independence Monument is of great historical importance to this country. It depicts a man who is raising up a child and letting him touch the air as a free person. This country gained independence from the British who colonized this country until 1962. And from 62, this country gained independence, thereby becoming a new and free country with self-rule, and thereby beginning to govern itself until today. Kampala is a very lively city, one that never sleeps. Even in the middle of the night, there is always something you can go and do. The best part of it is transport. You could get anywhere at any time of the night. On my last morning in Kampala, I tested the typical Ugandan breakfast. It comes with milk, tea, chapati, vegetable, cabbage, and a lot more. Very delicious. Oh, wait, did you subscribe to this channel? You're gonna be the very first to know my next destination. And remember to like this video as well. Cheers!